On to our WDSU first warning weather now. First concerns will be some patchy fog yet again. These are the usual and typical spots that we find for the time of the year, not widespread dense fog. But then some heat that's going to come in the afternoon. And we got to discuss the rain chances this weekend. WDSU first warning weather Doppler radar one lone shower. We've been talking about still isolated showers throughout this forecast overnights, morning hours, and the chances are about 10%. When you can look at this one shower near new roads, it's going to be near Kentwood here, northern Tangibahoe Parish here before the midnight hour. So it makes its due east movement. Eventually, Franklinton could be in line for that, and eventually Poplarville too. It's been a couple of isolated showers, very weak, and you can see them right over the lake and as you go mainly north shore, but that's all I can find for the rain here this evening. Real time temperatures. We are still into the 70s. Awfully humid this evening. 77 still in Slidell. 76 officially here. So it's feeling pretty warm outside. If you have to step out, take care of the last few things before you're in bed and those dew points up you know, the dew point is 73. This is kind of feeling like we would get into the throes of summertime. Just wanted to confirm where we've got a little reduced visibility and it's the typical spots. The Chafalaya Basin, Homa is getting five mile visibility, a little haze by the airport. But I'll show you the fog forecast in just a moment where it's not going to be the worst. Storm system still north trailing this front. These are severe thunderstorm watches along. We've actually had embedded tornadoes within some of those just severe thunderstorm watches. But the combination, the bubble of heat that's been upon us with this weak front that fades kind of squishes the heat together and almost enhances it to give us a potentially hot day if we get the bright sun. That same front as it fades lifts back as a cold as a warm front rather into Saturday. That's the first chance of rain, but it looks likely or North Shore. And it's not until Sunday where that system completely rolls through and that's going to be our main weather maker rain this weekend. Just to show Doppler radar yet again, the last that shower, once it's through, we should be done. And we're looking for parts of the South Shore could have some patchy fog. Slidell had some this morning too. Actually got down to about three quarters of a mile visibility, but not too awfully bad. 69 Bogalusa, Homa, the coolest spots tomorrow morning. We're at 72. It's the type of morning where we wake up to around 70. You can get out the door without the coat or any rain gear and that, and you can just enjoy the day and actually try to keep cool because this forecast has been consistent breaking out quite a bit of sunshine and as I've been forecasting the last several days with a high of 87 some getting close to 90 our record high in 1987 is 90 degrees for tomorrow so we'll track that one and it's not usual I'd give you this tomorrow forecast just to show the span where you get a little bit of cloud cover and it's a little bit thicker you could be held down 83 84 the bright sun could push you closer to 90 and it's likeliest we get the heat to the north shore Tomorrow, it's this, if you're recreational boating, fishing, going to be out sailing, morning fog could be the only issue and concern. Tidal range is starting to get smaller. Take a look at Saturday morning's fog forecast. And with this, there are some areas of reduced visibility, mainly south shore. So that could be something if you've got morning activities to get to on Saturday, maybe sports for some of the kids or yourself. The clouds are back for sure. We get a little break and then this forecast consistent in wanting to put the North Shore, the likeliest rain, maybe a shower here in New Orleans. But again, as the warm front lifts north, that should be the likeliest area for rain on Saturday. Still, it's about a 30, 40 percent chance and a little sun gets us to 85. But here's the latest in the high res into Sunday. Look at this storm activity, but early in the morning hours, it shows it mainly North Shore, but think it's vastly underdone for storms extending to the South Shore. It has the rain starting to wrap up even by mid morning and it's done by about midday. I think the timing's pretty accurate. I don't think it resolves the overall storms. So I want to tell you to expect rain on Sunday morning to Sunday midday. This is nothing like the storms we had last week, nothing to be severe and only maybe up to an inch. So I'm not looking at flooding concerns here either. This should just be a typical system in and out. Temperatures will be much cooler as the system comes through, drives through the cold front. We're only going to top out into the 70s after the 80s the next two days. Of course, the near hot day tomorrow, maybe a little thicker fog Saturday morning, the Sunday morning storms, and then, hey, Earth Day, looking spectacular Monday.